What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Xman and Co. Today we're going to do the brisket bone in on the Weber low and slow. Stay tuned. What we have here is a 7 pound brisket bone in. Now just to explain to you guys, this is the flat part of the brisket. You also get the point. Let me show you what the bones look like. Normally there's three bones and there they are. You could remove them. You would cut straight right over here, just on the top surface of the bones, and you would remove them like that. There's the fat cap. You can see it's not very thick, but this is definitely going to help us to get some flavors through today. I've got some spices. Let me introduce you to those straight away. I've got some sea salt here, some ground pepper, oregano, some sugar, some six-gun barbecue spice, and paprika. Right at the end here, we've got some mustard sauce. We are going to use the mustard to bind all our spices on this brisket. We're going to be very liberal with the spices. The idea is to spice this bad boy quickly to get it in the Weber, as this can take 6 to 10 hours. Anywhere between. We can't rush it. We're going to run it at a temperature of about 240 to 280, 300 Fahrenheit maximum throughout the entire time so let's spice this baby up so we can get things rolling what i like to do is put some small cuts all over the fat cap just so that these spices can penetrate the meat remember it's a thick piece of meat and it's the only way we're going to get these spices to go through as on the other side we've got a bone which will make it very hard for the spices to penetrate just thin cuts all across the fat cap you can see it's not a very thick fat cap, it's been trimmed already. Firstly, I'm going to use some mustard sauce as a binder. So you're just going to rub it all over. This is the fun part. Then we're going to start with our spices. As explained earlier, we're going to be very liberal. It's called a rub because you're going to rub it in. Some paprika on the sides as well. Then our six gun some sugar, some salt, some pepper. Right, we do the same on the other side. There you go, there's our spiced brisket bone in. Few things to consider doing a seven pound brisket, three and a half kilos, is basically that you need moisture throughout this whole cook, otherwise your brisket's gonna be very tough. It's already a big job getting your brisket nice and tender. So I'm going to use some beer today with a drip pan underneath and a little bit of water. You can just use water, you don't have to use beer or whatever aroma you want to throw in there to infuse the meat. That last little bit I'm sure we can share with the meat today. As you can see we've got a few Hot ones on the side and then these are cool ones. As I said before, we're aiming to do at least eight hours. This might not give us heat source throughout the whole seven, eight hours, but at about four hours, we're gonna add some more of these charcoal briquettes and that should take us through the stall and right to the end where we're gonna have some tender brisket bone in. I'm going to close the lid just to heat up the whole Weber before we slap that brisket on this baby. Right, as you can see, we've got about 240 just about, so I've got my friend here holding my piece of meat for me. Right, there we go. Thanks, Daniel. Okay, we're going to put it on there. I've made a plan over here. You can see I've used some tin foil just so that we can get the correct temperature inside this Weber. <coughs> apple cider vinegar and apple juice that we're going to spritz on the brisket in the Weber every hour. The ratio will be 50-50, plus minus. You don't have to use the apple juice. I just like it because of the flavor. And this will definitely help us and keep that brisket moist. One of my subscribers, Supreme OG, requested that we do this brisket, so African style. So Supreme OG, this is for you. Let me know what you think. Guys, comment below as well. Let us know. If you've tried this before and if you would do it differently, thank you for watching and remember to smash that like button 
and subscribe if you haven't yet. It's an hour and a half, so let's spritz this baby. Let's have a look. Starting to build a crust. Definitely something, something happening there. So yeah, we want to keep her moist. So we're just going to spray some of our mixture on her. Right, so we're going to leave her for the next hour. And on the hour, we'll spritz her some more. It's about the four hour mark. And it's time to spray this baby again. You can see it's starting to pull away from the bone, which is a very good sign. Fantastic. It's also creating a bark. That's exactly what you want. Now, we need to talk about the stall. The stall is basically heat normally around about 160 Fahrenheit, internal temperature. And that's because of the collagen connected tissue that needs to be broken down. That happens at about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So in order to get through that, the stall is basically where it keeps the temperature at 160. It keeps it, holds it there for extended period of time. We need to break through that. Only way we can do that is to put it on foil, speed up the temperature of the Weber slightly to about 300, and then we hit the last two hours. Once we hit the 170, we'll wrap her up and do the last two hours until 200 Fahrenheit. Then there's only one thing we can do, and that is leave her, let her rest for an hour inside a cooler box, still wrapped up before we cut this baby up. It's been about six hours. We've got an internal temp of 175 Fahrenheit. And now it's time to put this baby in the foil. Let's do that. Oh, beautiful, look at that. Look at the bark that it created already. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. You can see it's pulled back on the bones. That's fantastic news. So now we're just gonna put it in foil. As you can see, we've got an internal temp of 203 Fahrenheit, which is exactly where we want to remove this beauty. What we need to do now is put this brisket in the cooler box. There's no ice or anything in here. It's purely just to close it up. As you can imagine, the smells that you get from here, the aroma is amazing. We're gonna leave this brisket in here for the next hour 20. Then we're gonna take it out because we need all the juices to flow and settle nicely. Then this baby is going to be amazing. Should we pull some bones out? It's quite warm. There's the first bone. Look at that, guys. Right, guys, so obviously we left the bone in the South African way to make sure that all the flavors go into this brisket. But we know that normally the bone would not be there. So I'm just going to remove this bone completely. And you can see how easy it goes through there. Look at that. Fantastic. Right, guys. Let's cut this brisket. Oh, look at that. I think we should taste this. Let's just have a look. Oh, look there. It's tender, guys. This is what we're looking for the whole time. The moment of truth. Brisket bone in on the Weber, South African style. Cheers, guys. Holy smokes. Mm. Wow. That char, the, the, all the ingredients, the spices, just comes beautifully together. This is really a treat. Guys, if you like what you're doing, you know the story. Like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload new video. Thanks for watching. And guys, leave a comment below. Maybe there's something you'd like us to try out. See you next time. Cheers.